No, I, th I just think the lanes are really strong. I think yeah. that those laning matchups are really favorable for the side of Newbie, and I think it also plays back into something I said about drafts. I feel like some teams still overrate first pick a little bit. <laughs> The first of many of the Devourer bonus gold. I think it was actually pretty important. One of you got the CK. Play. Feels like Mookie though is a trap. He goes through the reality rift and then the two seconds done. Rolling ball to fall with all that negative armor on Ace. They should be able to fight through him, but then again, Ace, he's got that bonus damage, trying to kill off Faith, able to do so before he loses his own life. Puppy's charge forward. Mere harassment. So Come good. on, give him credit, bro. <laughs> give him credit, just because it's a five-minute mark. They did try. Oh, Reality Rift, they're going again with the stun. Rolling Boulder forward. Taka able to connect on the mark this time. They get the Maledict on top of Ace as well. They really want that Monkey King dead. And with a double kick on Ace and Yamp, so I don't know if he's taking enough damage. It's only that level one Maledict. And yeah, it will not be enough to get the kill. In fact, it's going to be Karka who gets bashed up by Pumpy. Moogie wants to go for more, but with that Fade Bolt, reduction of damage, all the negative armor, which is currently on Yapsor, is not going to work. In fact, it's just Ace who comes back in to kill off Faith. Newbie really committing so much to this top lane and getting nothing from it. The slot from Ace is creating space for Puppy, who's looking for that 17%. He won't get it, but Karka, a great rolling boulder forward, finally puts down Ace. Oh, maybe they're thinking about going towards mid. We've already had the Exorcism triggered off by mid one. He's going to go for the Spirit Siphon too, but as KP, who TP'd over SC, came in from the east looking to initiate, and they just Spirit commit. They need the damage, and Kaka starts to shift back the way of Newbie. There's some good rotations. Now they get the Silence Reality Rift onto the Doom. A two second stun combining with the Maledict. Doom shouldn't live through this, but Ace with a three man stun, and Puppy with a follow up charge. They even Doom the CK. Two heroes gone. Father won't pop, he has enough regeneration. Raindrops helping him as well survive the ticks. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Missed the Phantasm, and they're moving in. They wanted Yapsaw down too. That Flame Guard didn't help him, and Poppy drags straight back up. That was quick. Where are Secret's Wards? Smoke gank from Newbie. They've run all the way up. Now Farda. Uh, quick obs and sentries. Both sides see both things. Oh, the side of Fisterian Chains doesn't connect from SCCC. And now Moogie. Well, he'll find his jump. Does he have enough damage to kill off mid one? They don't. Not when the Wukong's command and the three man silence and three spirit siphon. Mid one makes everyone run away. Apart from the Ember Spirits being just bodied by the rest of Secret. Oh, it was quick before when Newbie went for that gank on Secret. This time it's the other way around. 
around that tier one and tier two tower on the top lane, but no one from Newbie is going to oblige with a fight. Instead, it's the push on bottom lane. Ember is trying to keep this flip push going. Oh, he just reality rifted it to farm. KP's gonna be in the neighborhood. He brings in the sprites, but the spirit committal from Yapsaw was looking for a pickup. KP's already backed up and they accept the fact that CK is dead. Will end up being probably a tier one and a tier two tower going the way of Team Secret. Plus the kill on CK for a tier one tower in the bottom lane. I think it might be more. I think it just exorcism him up the hill. It's up, it's up again. And then you force a buyback on the CK if they do that. But that's only if Newbie don't believe they can do this defense. SCCC is already TPing out. He's going to force in the bottom lane. And here they come. Exorcism is up. Team Secret are refusing to come back. And now Farda, he gets the Doom. It's over on the Enchantress. Then allows Kaka the double kick forward with the Magnetized Silence onto three. They need to bring a follow up, however. Witch Doctor just cannot be that disabler they want him to be. But they've waited out the Doom. The tier three tower has fallen, but the Searing Chains, that's a big catch. If they can kill off mid one, he'll be the critical one. Another Silence stopping that Impetus damage. They haven't been able to really capitalize on it until now. Mugi is back. So they burn off the Aegis of the Immortal, chasing Farda in the tree lines, but they have to pick a time. Target, any target. Right now it's SCCC and Mugi in very, very deep. Puppy will just evaporate. But really, they need more damage to come in. Ace is waiting. Mid one, he'll sacrifice himself. But that's still a big kill. 534 gold going the way of KP. He picked a double kill out of this fight. But Team Secret did still, however, take the tier three tower and expose those out of shrines. Toughest calls there. BKP timing before or after. KP's being charged in the mid. Team Secret already have four players on site. Waiting for the initiation. Kaka, careful with that gem. He jumps in. He knows the father is there. The kick forward, but the slap down from Ace is way too good. And now into the Wukong command with the control. Paralyzing cast making it difficult for Team Secret to move, but now they charge forward, chasing after Mugi. SCCC got into the back lines, but didn't do anywhere near enough damage for control. And Faith. A perfect split from Secret. They knew that cast could come. Nothing really comes from that. In favor of Nubi, everyone backs out. And remember, this is the three. Like the fact that Monkey King was shut down at the early stage, just got the Battle Fury. All of the attacks that came in from Team Secret, Monkey King provide the perfect stun times, then brings in Battle Fury and just farms up everything else while the fights, fights go on. Well, that's one of the nice things about Monkey King, right? He can be a one or a three, right? Or a two, actually, or a four. Uh, so if he doesn't get that much farm, he's okay with being sacked. But Chaos Knight, he's only a one. He cannot be a three. Yeah. So Secret kind of played that game. It's like, okay, well, we'll sack our Monkey King if we sack your CK. And then this Monkey King is a three, which is fine. And then this Chaos Knight just can't function well as a three in this game. Oh, Moogie's in trouble. Quick blink away. At the same time, Ace jumped down, but the charge from Poppy keeps going. KP, they have to force up another strike. Moogie tries to run away. Ace goes into the Wukong command, even burns the BKP. Almost enough damage to kill Moogie. Kaka was looking for the body block, but Ace does way too much damage. Fada, Shiva's gone. It connects onto Kaka as the roll down. Puppy's damage kills him. It was the Urn of Shadows that finds the kill. Oh, grouping up. Puppy moves in. Looking for a target. Charge forward. They're going to find the Witch Doctor. Moogie, well, he quickly pulls up the Phantasm and then jumps back down again. Will they have enough opportunity to kill him off? A two second stun stolen from Yamsaw. The kick from, from Kaka tries to create space and then he just gets doomed up. CK's down with no buyback available. And with the BKB from Ace, he wanted to jump forward and said they look to the back lines. The silence out on SCCC. They got to keep him controlled a little bit longer and they've got it. He'll fall. Only choice is to buy it back. But inside the base, Ace is already killing off Kaka and KP trying to hit. Hoping to hit is what more like it. Fighting against the ev evasion. SCC can slow things down a little bit with the slide of fist searing chains, but that's a long cooldown for him. And Team Secret, the damage. And it's irreparable. Newbie will call GG, and Team Secret will be our first team to advance themselves into the playoff. Not the cleanest series, still a 2 1, but a series to Team Secret nonetheless. Guaranteed points. That's what they've they got. to be happy with that. And Fada, great offline performance from him in games one and three.